We have new information tonight on two stabbing incidents. Both involved teens. One of them happened in a park near Layton High School. The second took place in the early morning hours in Taylorsville inside a couple's home. And that is where we start tonight. Police say a man and a woman are recovering in the hospital after being stabbed by a teen they do not know. Fox 13 News reporter Jenna Bree spoke with neighbors about the shocking incident. Jenna joins us live from Taylorsville tonight. That's right, Bob and Kelly. Neighbors still have unanswered questions. Who was this 15 year old boy and why did he stab two people who apparently didn't know him? I spoke with a next door neighbor who made the 911 call. He said it was the most bizarre and terrifying morning of his life. We want to be able to have a neighborhood where we can just leave our doors open, but apparently that's not going to happen for a while. Chad Hathaway woke up around 3.30 a.m. Tuesday to find his neighbor at his front door yelling for help. She came screaming and that's what woke us up. So he jumped out of bed immediately, called 911. Hathaway says the woman was still being attacked by the teenage boy. My wife actually ended up yelling at him and then that's what scared him away. So he took off um, and then we ended up she ended up collapsing at our front door, so we couldn't even open the door, so we had to run around. Almost immediately after calling 911, Taylorsville and West Valley City Police arrived. Within an hour of searching with dogs and drones, officers found the suspect and took him into custody. Somebody had entered their home, and a un person unknown to them had entered their home, um, stabbed two people. Hathaway says he's still in shock that this random stabbing happened to the people he's been living next to for 13 years. But we've shared things, we borrow tools from each other, we, and so they've been great neighbors. Police say they are still investigating why the teen chose this house. The man and woman still recovering at the hospital. They are expected to survive. Reporting live in Taylorsville, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah.